Hey gang, welcome back to Inverted Pursuits Laboratory. And today, we're discussing a pretty simple topic, but one I didn't hit um, in most of my other rocket builds. So, say you've bought a tube. This is a tube I'm prototyping on for another rocket. It doesn't have the fin slots cut in it, like on a tube where you got pre-cut fin slots. So, you saved yourself a couple of dollars, but you need to add the fin slots. First thing is, are you doing three or four fins? And um, I'm doing three, which means the fins are spaced 120 degrees apart. And so I always do is I just uh, pull up and print one off. My printer's broken today, so I just traced it out. And then I measure um, increments out. So I've got inch and a half, two inch, and some inch uh, distances in between there. And since I've got a three inch tube, inch and a half is where I'll line up on. But I'll place this over, make sure I can see the inch and a half mark on all sides, and get it all lined up as I need it. And then, as you see right here, you just take your pencil and mark where the fin would go. And then you do that on all three sides and you end up with a tick on the bottom, 120 degrees spacing. And you can double check that pretty easily. Just verify it real quick. And I of course messed this one up because I moved it. Oops, so don't use that one. But the, those three are 120 space, so one, two, and three marks. And your next step is to go find a door frame. All right, so I've got the door frame here. And what you can do is you can actually set the rocket in this groove here between the edge and the door frame. And what you're hunting for is on the back side here. You can see where the tick mark is now lining up with the base. So when you're here at the door frame, you get that tick mark lined up in there. And I am at a terrible spot because I'm doing it right on the door jam right now. Um, that's not where you want to do it. But you get it lined up and then you bring your pencil in here and trace up and down. And you end up with a perfectly vertical line. Let me double check. And Okay, it's not quite vertical. So let me redo that real quick because it's a little bit off. Do the next one. And one more. So there you end up with three lines. And this is my messed up one. So I mark through the bad one to not use it. But then from here, we can go and measure where we want the fin slots to sit. So you got your line and your tape measure and you're coming in here to measure where your fin slots are at. So first thing you want to do is I always, I always, always, always design half an inch up. So I mark there and then my fins are usually five inches long. So I go five and a half, especially when I'm doing a three inch rocket. Those are pretty consistent numbers I can just guess, even though I don't have them in front of me. But you take the numbers of where you want your fin slot to sit and you mark them. And now you'll come in with a Dremel and we'll cut this out and so let's go do that all right so now that you have it marked out the next thing is you get your Dremel out and you're gonna actually cut the slot and you want something to be able to test the width of your slot so I've actually got a fin for infinity out here and I'll use that to test my slot width since I'm using eighth inch fins on this rocket even though this is just a prototype of what I want to build and pull what was in there out real quick so, before you get started, always remember with the Dremel, you should be wearing a, uh, any safety glasses all the time. And especially when you're working with fiberglass, you need to be wearing a respirator. Um, for cardboard, it's not quite as necessary, but you should be anyway. So, let's get going on this.
All right. And just like that, you have your slot cut in there, and now you just need to do that two more times for a three fin or three more times for a four fin rocket. So that, guys, is how you cut a fin slot into a body tube. Um, now, I've also got a video on how to find the center of any circular object, whether fiberglass or wood, for your bulkheads or centering rings if you're making those from scratch. So check that out. There'll be a link to that in the description below. Also check me out on Facebook and at my website. The links for those are in the description below. There's always more content that you can be finding at either of those two places. Thanks for watching, gang.